Musical notation. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to focus on musical notation. So let's go. Musical notation is any method by which sounds are written down so that they can be read and performed by others. The present day conventional system of notation uses a five times sta stave, which is also called a staff, divided by vertical lines into sections known as bars, on which notes, rests, clefts, keys, signatures, time signatures, accidentals, and other symbols are written. A note indicates the duration of a sound and, according to its position on the stave, its pitch. Notes uh, can be, you know, like arranged on the stave in order of pitch to form a scale. A silence in the music is indicated by a rest. The clef, which is placed at the beginning of a stave, fixes the pitch. The key signature, which is placed after the clef, indicates the key. And after that, we have the time signature placed after the key signature shows the number of beats in a bar. We have, well, after that, its accidentals are used to indicate the raising or the lowering of the pitch of a note. Man! That is some musical stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. So they're explaining us about, uh, you know, the musical notation. It's very easy, really. Once you get to know music, it's really easy. How? See, musical notations is an is any method in which sounds are written down so that they can be read and performed by others. So it's just a music language like this. So yeah, it's pretty easy that I don't need to explain you because the words I just said were so much explaining. Yeah, okay. So after that, we have the elements of musical notation. So and the thing I talked about earlier up here, they are clefs, see, treble for, or G, clef, yeah. After that, it's alto or C, chef, bass or F, clef. Then after that, it's three, four time. Then after that, it's six, eight time. Then after that, it's stave or you could say staff. Yeah, so after that, the notes, brevet. Uh, semi brevet, minim, minim, sorry, minim, crochet, quaver, semi quaver. Then after that, we have the rests brave rest, brevet rest, semi brevet rest. After that, we have minim rest, crochet rest, semi quaver rest, quaver rest. It's so musical, right? <laughs> yeah, scale. So there are scales in this too which are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. You might think it's just alphabets, but it's actually more than that. These are accidentals. This is sharp, this is flat, this is natural, this is double flat, this is double sharp. This is the key signature. Now we have studied all of this. Now after that, we are going to, uh, you know, look into everything right here. Now I'm just gonna name it because we don't have so much time to explain it. But if we did, you would have been pretty interested, which you still are, right? Treble clef, these, this is bass clef, this is fourth, four, four time clef, uh, and it's a common time. See, key signature, then after that it's alto chef, treble voice, alto voice, tre and then it's tenor voice, then it's bass voice, organ part for right hand, organ part for left hand. Man, there's so much, uh, there is so much detail. Yeah, right? organ pedal line then after that uh, up here it's mod moderately uh, fast and quiet here here uh, it's tie bind then it's the repeat the previous bar and then it's after that instruments of the orchestra written in italian oh my god these are so beautiful their handwriting is beautiful too 
Barline Bass Clef, Bar Cochet. Then it's here, it's Accidental Sharp Tie tie bend it's also called a bend accidental natural then it's unison both clarinets play the same note yeah semi brave uh, semi brave rest then it's the accidental sharp here and then it's slur then it's piano play softly you literally have to play the play the instrument softly then this okay this is pianissimo which is to play very softly this is a crotchet dress this is an organ then after that let me just crawl over there semi brave crotchet uh yeah so now and now these are all the, the uh, all the you know all the instruments in an orchestra so which are the organ uh, then it's the double basses cellos voices first and second uh yeah it's so well violins the first and second violins violins uh, then it's timpani in d and a and then it's uh, trumpets in d then it's horns in d then it's basso bassoons and then it's clarinets in a then it's uh, oboes and uh, yeah oboes and after that it's the flute so these are all and these are all they're connected to a, uh, a separate line which gives them you know what to play so yeah this was so beautiful it did this gave us so much detail on this gave us so much detail on musical notation i'm sure everyone will be so happy to know more about it so yeah just watch my video it's so helpful bye